Hello, what's up, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, and today we are going to try thrifting for fall clothes. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't thrifted at this Savers in person, like filming in a long time, so I'm like a little nervous, but we're gonna get over it and we're just gonna walk in. I have a few things on my wish list that I want to get, mostly sweaters, cardigans, maybe some bottoms, we'll see. And then I wanna try to check out one other thrift store that is on my way to work, so fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna kinda talk to myself. <laughs> Okay, I'd be so lying to you if this wasn't the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. It's kind of cool. Let's see. What do I want to even look at? I don't know. I'm so, like, trying to avoid people. I swear I've seen this, like, a few months ago. Maybe it got redonated. <laughs> Whoa. This whole rack right to my right is empty. We'll start in cardigans. I hate when that happens. So far I found one sweater, which is good. Um, I'm gonna look at jewelry. People are looking at me and I don't like it. I think I'm gonna stop. Okay, we just made it to our next destination and I sent a small Snapchat video of my mini haul to my cousin from when I got at the last one. Yeah, I'm really glad I went to Savers because everything I got was really good. I'm at a Goodwill now and I'm gonna check them out. It's been, honestly, I wanna say like two or three years since I've been inside this Goodwill, so it's either gonna be a hit or a miss. So let's go in. I only have about 20-ish or 30-ish minutes or so, so it's pretty small too, which is nice. Here we are, we're gonna go inside. Hello, it's a new day. Um, I just did my returns at Cotton On, and I remembered that there's a Goodwill over here I've never been to before. Can you believe it? This Goodwill is pretty close to me. It's like only 20 minutes away, but I've literally, I literally never come over here just because the traffic is awful and I have to drive through a main city and I hate driving in city traffic. So we are here. We made it to Goodwill. I'm not sure how much filming I'm gonna do on this actual camera, but I will try to get some clips on my phone. Just because yesterday, it was rough, okay? Let's just say that. When I was at the Savers, I like looked up suddenly and there's like three or four employees literally watching me. Um, and I felt very shy immediately. So that, yeah, I turned the camera off. And then in the other Goodwill, I was just finding literally nothing. That Goodwill is always hit or miss and it's usually a miss. bigger I would get this for my cats. <laughs> That's so cool though. That's the good box. If you know, you know. That's cool. Oh, I think this is fancy stuff. Like I 
actually worth money, but you don't need it. Hello from yet another thrift store. We are currently outside a Goodwill that is pretty close to my house. This one's usually pretty hit or miss to me. I wanted to go to a different one that was much closer to the other Goodwill I was literally just at, but it's the time of day where if I went there now, it's far enough away where my drive home, I would be in fully stopped traffic. So there's that. I do have to say though, I did find some good stuff and I am very happy with what I found so far. So hopefully we can keep the good luck going at this Goodwill. So um, I'll see you inside. Hello and welcome or welcome back. It has been a, a few weeks, honestly, since I went thrifting. I just made myself a coffee at home. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if it's gonna actually be good or not, but let's just taste test it together, why don't we, before we actually get started. I'm really praying that this is good because I'm tired of spending money on coffee. Okay, it's actually not bad. For myself, less syrup, but it's not bad. So let's talk about exactly what went down and what we just watched. So I went to four different thrift stores in two different days. On the first day, I was already pretty nervous. For one, because I was in a time crunch and I was going to work. I don't like doing things under pressure sometimes, specifically when it has to do with going to work. To me, if I'm five minutes early, I'm on time. If I'm on time, five minutes late. It's a really bad habit of mine. I mean, I guess it's good, but at the same time, I just, yeah, I can't stand that. I, timeliness is just one of my pet peeves. So the first thrift store I went to, it was actually really good. I almost got carried away in there, but I needed to get to the area in which I was working. And that is where the second thrift store came into play. And I only found one item and, oh my God, Sometimes I can't stand going to that thrift store because quite literally, the only cashier that was ringing was looking for something in the back for a different customer and I was in line and this lady got in line behind me and literally just yelled, um, excuse me, we need a cashier. And I was like, ah! like every little bit inside of me wanted to die. So yeah, after like the really mortifying customer behind me yelling for someone to come, I don't know, it was just, it was crazy. I went to work and then the next day I was like, I wanna go thrifting again, <laughs> so I did. And then I went to those two other stores cause I had to go do my returns to Cotton On anyways, which the closest one to me is in a mall and it's honestly, it's a pretty close mall to me. I just honestly hate driving through Hartford, if you're from Connecticut, you know, it's just, it sucks driving through Hartford. It really does. I don't really go over there often and I've never gone to this Goodwill before and oh my God, it was so good. I definitely wanna go back. Like I 100%, I need to go back. Like it's not even a question. Without further ado, now that I've told you a little bit about how it went, I'm going to show you everything. I guess we'll start with like jewelry. Um, I'm really mad I cannot find for the life of me, this pair of earrings. I wore them to my cousin's wedding, so they were in my cousin's wedding video, and I wore them to the Renaissance Fair. And now, I, I don't know what I did with them. They're nowhere to be found, but they were these beautiful silver moon, like dangly earrings, definitely vintage. Is like that whimsy goth look. Oh my God. If I have a picture, I'm gonna put them up, but I honestly really don't think I have a picture of them, which is very extremely unfortunate. But also in the jewelry section, I found these beautiful, stunning butterfly earrings, gorgeous. These were $3.99, the moon ones were $3.99. And then I found these really cool pins or brooches, as I like to say. Everyone says I say it wrong, I don't care. Um, one of them is like a daisy ring and a heart. The other is this cat with a little dangly like collar, which is just a uh, O-ring with a little bead on it, which is super cute. And then finally for brooches, I also found this one that's right here on my purse. It is this like flower enamel thing. I can't remember if I showed it or not, but I'm pretty sure I got it in this trip. But if not, that's new. So I found all of those pieces basically after I cut my camera. Again, I'm sure you saw it in the clips. I looked up and suddenly there was like a bunch of employees looking at me and I just felt like they were gonna try to kick me out even though I was really trying my best to not film people. But again, you never know with how people are. And that's why I just was like, I'm gonna just turn it off. And since I was wearing like a zip up hoodie, I just kind of put the jacket over my mic and 
but went about my merry way after I checked out jewelry. So when you first walk into this first savers that I went to, it's like all your housewares and then it starts with women's clothing. And I usually go kind of straight against the back wall first and I like to see like what the sewing stuff is that they have available. Cause usually if they have it, it's not much. I passed a Halloween end cap and I found this amazing Robert Allen Candle Company. It was from Ocean State Job Lot for $3.99. It's probably old, honestly. Sunflower and pumpkin pillar holder. And it holds those really big homeworks candles. So I've had my autumn leaves one on there. And if I think about it, I'll lay a clip over of it burning in there. I, I'm obsessed with this. It's so cool. I don't care that it's definitely been busted a few times and glued back together. She's gorgeous. And I love her. Next, this is how I kind of knew I was going to find some really good gems if I dug good enough. And it was this really awesome pillow. Um, I've been waiting. Put it right here for this video. So if I want to lean, I can. But it's this awesome, like, embroidered sun face pillow and I think it's perfect for my sun porch. So of course, after checking out that stuff, I went straight into clothes because that's the whole purpose of this video. And at this savers, I only found two items, which kind of, I guess, originally bummed me out. But looking back, I'm just glad that some of the stuff that I picked up, I never got because it's stuff I know I wouldn't wear. So when you did see in some of the clips and it is this green sweater that has like two different shades at the bottom, and it's a little fuzzier than I would like. It's from this brand called Lauren Brook and it's acrylic. It looks older just based off of the tag and it definitely has seen some better days, but I like the color. It's definitely a bit longer than my typical sweaters that I wear, but I kind of like that because it's like a nice autumn color neutral without being brown or black or gray and it's super cute. So the next item I actually got on a whim and it is this vintage express skirt. This is from the 80s and it is this beautiful like brown long floral print. It does go to my ankles and I think it's like a hair too big. I don't know. I got to really just try it on again with a few different outfits, but it is super freaking cute. And I think with the right thing, it could be amazing. And I love the print. It's super cute is the whole point. I don't know what I'll do to try to fix it. Cause like the waistband isn't really the issue. I think it's like the dart placement and like a little bit of the waist. Like I think it's not supposed to be as loose as it kind of is. So that was everything I got at the first thrift store. Then we went on over to this Goodwill that was pretty close to my job. I was there for maybe 30 minutes, dug through every single women's top, and I just wasn't finding anything I liked. And I was honestly gonna leave but I had found this book for literally $2 and it is this. It is 101 cross stitch patterns for every season. And the front is honestly what sold me. It had a sun, a daffodil and some leaves and a snowflake. And it has all these amazing like full color diagrams of cross stitch. Um, I've never done cross stitch before, but unfortunately, I'm really good at finding hobbies that I'm interested in to then invest in and then do for like about three weeks and then find a new hobby to try. So eventually, this is on my bucket list of hobbies to try is basically what I'm saying. That is everything that I got from that one thrift store. And then that brought us to the next day to the thrift store I had never been to before. And I kid you not, I felt like I was striking gold everywhere I looked. Everything was great. I wanted everything. I mean, I filmed the most in that store. It was very quiet. I was like one of maybe three customers. Towards the end of when I was there, it started to pick up a little bit more. But I also think that's just because it was like maybe like two-ish or three o'clock-ish in the afternoon. People get out of work early. And that thrift store is located pretty close to like very center of Connecticut. So it doesn't shock me. It was starting to get busy, but the items I found, I was like happy dancing in the store every time I picked something up and I was like, oh my God, I need it. There's a few things I put back. I definitely don't regret it because I don't miss them, but 
they're definitely like things I probably would have found a way to love. So I guess starting with the home stuff, you definitely saw me put this in the cart and it is the giant Pyrex. This is the biggest Pyrex I've ever seen. It is a one liter, four cup, Pyrex. I said in the store as I put it in my cart, if you know, you know. So if you don't know, I'm gonna let you know right now. So the Pyrex with the big capital letters is least likely to just shatter like how the new ones do. I read somewhere online that they stopped making Pyrex the way that they used to in that all the capital letters are made a different way than the ones with the lowercase letters. So if you thrift, and you like to get some houseware, cookware stuff, always be on the lookout for Pyrex with all capital letters. It is the better quality than the lowercase. Like, I know we will get used with this. When Mark did Berea for his birthday last year, this would have been so helpful because he had to use all three of our other little measuring cups. An amazing investment, mostly for him. This first clothing item, I'm not gonna lie to you. I saw it and my jaw dropped. I, I, cause I saw it from a different aisle. So I immediately looped around, stopped what I was looking at just to go pick this up because someone was in front of it and they walked away. And it is this cardigan. This is not just any cardigan. This is a brand called Ray Wear and it was hand knitted in Bolivia. It's 100% cotton, which is something I'm always looking for in clothing. It is very well made. This will be great to wear even in the winter. I'm really excited to wear this again. This next item I thrifted kind of on a whim, same location. It was actually across the rack from that last sweater. And I honestly think what mostly got me was this tag. It's from this brand called Top Stitch by Morning Sun. It is this green double collared pullover with this cute little embroidery patch. It's a rose and it looks like some mistletoe and some other plant. It is definitely a little bit more Christmassy probably, especially with the colors, but I do think she's really cute and I know I'll get some wear out of her. The final item for this entire video, because I sadly did not find anything at the last thrift store, is none other than this brown leather purse. I've thrifted quite a few different bags from thrift stores over the years, and this is the first one that I got that was literally brand new at Tags. This is a Sonoma purse. It's actually originally from Kohl's, and I'm pretty sure this is an early 2000s bag because I actually remember having something extremely similar to this. It came with a coin purse and I had something like this as a kid growing up. I don't know, it was very bizarre, but it like was kind of nostalgic from something because it's got like this double leather detail with like the flowers cut out. I don't know if maybe that's what it is, but I, I really think I had something just like this when I was a kid. I picked this up. This was like actually a 50% off green tag the only item in my entire cart that was a green tag so i got it for 50 percent off and i only paid seven bucks hello again it's been yet again another week and i actually went back to the last thrift store you saw in the little montage um where i found nothing but yesterday i found a whole bag's worth of stuff i'm gonna show you everything i got because I don't know when I'm gonna do another thrift hauls anytime soon because I mean, I don't wanna just make my channel all about going and buying stuff. That's not what I'm really into. I just wanna share the few fall items and things I've kind of actually been wanting to find for a while that I was able to find. So let's get into it. So for starter, I did find this really awesome garden stone, which is already outside of my garden. So I'll overlay the clip here to talk about it. Basically just says cats welcome. And I have a lot of neighborhood cats that come through and they're really cute. Sometimes they let me pet them. It's really only the black one, which we named Vertigo, but he is a house cat of someone else's that's indoor, outdoor. He's very well fed and I don't need a fourth cat. To start with the fall vibes, I found this amazing piece of stained glass art. It's basically a cornucopia with a pumpkin and I don't know what else, honestly. I really can only recognize the pumpkin, but it is Stunning. I want to get like a little like light to put inside of it I think that'd be really awesome because when you hold it up to the light it like it looks so pretty This is a perfect fall decoration. So hopefully I actually get some time to decorate my house for fall slash winter We'll see. I kind of want to film a video about it. So hopefully I'll actually get around to it. So next 
this item is actually pretty cool. I've seen a few TikToks with other people finding similar at the thrift store, and it is a brand new in the box moving photo frame. So it holds 10 photos. I have not opened it yet, but I did just get pictures printed from Walgreens, and I'm so mad at them because half of them were printed like you need to wear 3D glasses. But anyways, I'm actually really excited about this, and I do have some pictures at least to put in here. Yeah, I don't know if the, like the photos like flop down like an actual carousel or if they just stay rigid the way they are in the box because I haven't opened it yet, but we'll see. This next item is kind of goofy. It's another home decor item and it is this old like a vintage wood sign and it said, cats are like potato chips. It's hard to have just one and the cats on here are really cute, but I think I'm going to thrift flip this in a future video because I have three cats for one, and I don't have a gray cat. I have like an orangey-ish cat, but I would probably just like repaint this a little bit so I can have all three cats on the sign. It's really cute, and it was handmade by Judy Vasaka. I don't know if she's still alive, who knows? But thank you, Judy, for making this and it making its way to my hands. So the next item, the Goodwill employee actually did not ring me up for this, and I don't know if it's because I bought a bag that was like also a dollar or, not like he he literally picked it up looked at it and then put it down and then watched me put it in my bag so i don't i don't know i was going to pay for this but he didn't charge me for it and it is a stone like heart little trinket box and it's so cute it has like these like kind of shiny flower shell things in it and it's really cool and i gotta get the stickers off and the residue off so i can clean it up pretty good but I'll probably put like maybe some rocks or something in it. And then the final item I thrifted is, <laughs> Mark is not really amused with it, but I definitely am. And it is this teapot. So first, a little backstory. There were probably like over 30 different types of teapots donated at this thrift store. So whoever died and donated their teapot collection, Thank you. This is a strawberry basket teapot. I mostly bought it because when I love strawberry themed things, I always have. And when Mark and I first started dating, he used to call me his strawberry. Um, it's a long story. So I did in fact get the strawberry teapot. It's just so cute. How could you, how could I not? I am going to decorate with it. And I think I want to kind of do similar to what my grandmother did. My grandma has like a lake house in Connecticut and then like a house in Florida. So when they live in Connecticut in their house in Connecticut above their cabinets, cause they're not to the ceiling, they have like ceramic decorations, I guess, or like different things that she's gotten over the years. So I think I'm gonna do similar with this and we'll see how it looks. I'm just scared my cats, cause I know Bubby jumps up there. I'm scared he's gonna knock it over. Hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, and now we are officially at the actual end of our video. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I actually just saw this yesterday that we hit 500 and I am in shock. I know when I first hit 100, I did like a little special video to celebrate. I don't know if I'll do it with 500. Maybe when I hit 1,000, because that's like a really crazy high number. And not that I don't think I'll hit it, but it would be really cool to like hit a thousand by next year. That'd be so awesome. So I'm just gonna put it out there. If you're not subscribed, you should. That way you could say you were here before a thousand subscribers. And um, with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.